Hey STEM stars! Welcome back! Have you ever played with your shadow on a sunny day? Or wondered why we can see through glass but not through walls? Well today we're going to unlock the mystery of how light behaves when it hits different objects. What happens when light falls on objects? Light is like a curious traveler, it's always on the move. When it hits an object, it can do one of three things. Reflection. Light bounce off, like a ball on a wall. Think of a shiny mirror. You can see your reflection in mirror just because of this behavior of light. Absorption. Light gets soaked up, like a sponge soaking water. That's why dark objects heat up in the sun. Amount of heat absorption depends on type and color of object. Transmission. Light rays pass through like light zooming through a clear glass window. Each object decides how light behaves based on what it's made of. Let's meet the three main types of objects, transparent, translucent, and opaque. Transparent objects let almost all light pass through clearly. Think of a magnifying glass, eyesight glasses, or a water bottle. You can see right through them, like they're invisible. Translucent objects let some light through but scatter it, so things look blurry. Ever seen frosted glass, tissue paper, or butter paper? That's translucent. Opaque objects say, no way light. They block it completely like a wooden door, an iron sheet, or a thick book. Why does this happen? It's all about the material. Transparent materials have molecules that let light zoom through. Translucent ones scatter light and opaque ones stop it dead in its tracks. Activity time. Let's check this out. Take a clear glass sheet, wax paper, and cardboard or wooden pane. Watch what happens when I shine my flashlight through each. Clear glass. The light passes through, and you see a bright, clear beam on the wall. Wax paper. The light's dimmer and blurry. Translucent magic. Cardboard. No light gets through. It's completely blocked. That's opaque. Try this at home with a flashlight and some objects. What do you find? Now let's talk about shadows, those cool, dark shapes that follow you around. Shadows form because light travels in straight lines. When light hits an opaque object, it can't pass through, so the area behind the object stays dark. That dark area is the shadow. Shadows can be fun. People use them to make shadow puppets by shaping their hands in front of a light. The light gets blocked, creating cool shapes. Have you observed when you move closer to the light, your shadow gets bigger? And when you move farther from light source, your shadow gets smaller. Why? Because more light is blocked when you place an object closer to light, so shadow get bigger. On the other hand, light spreads out as it travel, so object at far will block less light, making a smaller shadow. Try this at home. Use a flashlight and a toy to make shadows. Move the toy around and see how the shadow changes. Shadows are longer in the morning and evening and shorter at noon because of the angle of the sun in the sky. Here's a simple explanation. Morning and evening. The sun is low on the horizon, so its rays hit objects at a slanting angle. This causes shadows to stretch out, making them longer. Noon. The sun is almost directly overhead, at its highest point in the sky. The sunlight hits objects more vertically, so the shadows fall directly beneath the objects and are shortest. It's the quiz time. Are you ready? What happens when light hits a transparent object like clear glass? It is completely absorbed. It is completely blocked. It transmits through clearly. The correct answer is, it transmits clearly. Which of the following is an example of a translucent object? A wooden door. Frosted glass. A metal plate. The answer is frosted glass. When light hits a mirror, what behavior is primarily observed? Transmission. Absorption. Reflection. The answer is reflection. Can you explain why a black shirt feels warmer in sunlight than a white shirt? Write the answer in comments. Let's see who is going to give a correct one. Thanks for watching.